to my survival world. Um, yeah. We're going to be working on the... Oh, what is it there? We're finishing up the dye factories today. I figure we do that because, like, I'll show you guys uh, what progress I've made once again with the um, ocean monument. Like, and I, I mainly just been collecting sand, you know, but uh, it's quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. But I did, uh, like I showed in the last episode, I found a spot that solved the issue where the one redstone machine. And I do apologize for any noise in the background you might be hearing. Especially those loud noises right now. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sucks if you can. Ah, jeez. People I live with are noisy. So yeah, let me show you that real quick. Uh, let's make sure we have bone meal. Yeah, if I don't sound too enthusiastic right now, like in this episode, it's because, yeah, it's, it's what happens when you have depression. And you don't um. You don't sugarcoat the world. I'll just put it that way. Simplify it. But here's what I built, guys. I, I think it looks really cool. I don't know, some people might think it looks stupid, but I put a lot of work into it, so it's awesome. I really like the design. I like how this kind of looks, you know, with the cauldrons here in the corners. Something different. And we got red windows. So it's getting near Christmas time, so I thought I'd kind of like make it a green and red building. But yeah, let's go in here. So we got a chest, which is for bone meal, I believe. And then one for the items. So this one's the... <clears throat> excuse me. This one's for all the items. And see, now we actually got our dandelion, our azure blue. I don't know if I'm even saying that right, but at this point, I, I really don't care. It's the azure flower, <laughs> oxide daisy, uh, poppy. And then, yeah, we're going to put some bone meal in. Make sure the machine has bone meal. And I even got the dispenser rigged up to, you know, sort out seeds. So that's all right here. It's all made a little more compact. And then it's all nice and camouflaged too on the outside. You can't see the seeds being uh, ejected out of the machine. So I'll show you guys this. And there you go. As you can see, we're getting all those four kinds now, which is nice. We have more variety to process into dyes, which I really like. So if we go down here, right? Whenever seeds do come through, it will get sorted out right, just like that, <laughs> and they just get ejected out. I don't know. I couldn't think of anything else to do with them. Like, I just wanted them not to be building up in the item collection. That's all I wanted, so solve that problem. So yeah, there's, there will never ever be seeds in here. It'll just be these four flowers. Always building up. And, that, and that's a good thing. You don't want, you know, your chest filling up with stuff you don't need. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I also made a little room. So, you know, I can showcase the redstone if need be. It's all back here again. Uh, it's pretty much the same design as it was when it was over at the other building. Nothing has changed. So, we're going to finish up the other one. Like, there's not a whole lot to do there. I already got a start on it. I cleared out the, um, the remainder of the old, bigger redstone machine. And I just grabbed a bunch of cobblestone. So, well, not cobblestone, sorry, uh, stone. And, yeah, first things first, I'm gonna need to make, like, uh, 
like a floor or something secondary floor or it could just be a root well it has to be kind of like a roof and a floor i guess but i don't know when i think about it it doesn't necessarily have to be a floor but i am gonna have to figure out something that's all i know so i know i need to put a roblox across the top here And that way those glass panes will actually look decent. Okay, I just had enough to do that too. So you got this thing, this part sticking up. I could leave it like, literally, you know, maybe replace these with half slabs. And then, um, because mobs can't spawn on the top. So if I were to put glass around the rest of this, then the mobs wouldn't be able to spawn there either. And I could just half slab around here and there's already quite a bit of lighting in there. So that's one thing I could do for this portion of the building. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll try something a little different here. And then if I were to put something crazy, like this maybe. And then put like half slabs on the top. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with something different. But I think that's actually okay. Supposedly mobs don't spawn on stairs. So we'll just have to, I'll just have to have faith in that, I guess. I'm going to need more stairs. Which means I need more brick. Oh my god, everyone's being so noisy. I really do apologize if anybody can uh, hear that. It's very distracting. Very, very distracting. Oh, <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops, a daisy. Hopefully, this, uh. Oh, this is not gonna match up, is it? Well, I'll be damned. Well then. There probably is a way. I just gotta figure out where they're gonna meet in the middle. And if I can figure that out, I can make them match up. It's like what, that's two right there. Huh. Well, that's not too many over. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen? Seventeen in between. What the hell? Mm, that's such an odd number to try and find uh, to divide by two. Damn. Okay, so if I were to do that, let's see, one, two, three, four, let's try going by four, I guess, one, two, three, four. I think, ouch, I think this is going to be the middle. Mm -hmm. Actually, give me one of these, boom. 
I don't know. Uh, just trying to make it different. Different looking than the rest. So yeah, this will be kind of like sticking out at top, you know. Because everything's operated down below. And then, um, yeah, I just gotta cover this up. Good thing we got half slabs. Oh no. Oh no, it's going to be night time. Ow. Running like a beast. Run. And yeah, I've switched it up to fish. I don't know. Got tired of eating, um, pumpkin pie and baked potato all the time. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool, you know, like, I, I personally would probably get absolutely fed up with it, but I think it's cool that, you know, they, there's a mod out there for modded Minecraft, right, that allows you to add, like, uh, like, nutrition and stuff to your food that you can get, you know, and make and craft in the game. So that, that's pretty cool, you know, that's a lot more, um, closer to real life than it is, like, right now that I'm, like, the way I'm playing it. Because, yeah, if you were to eat the same old thing over and over again, it'd only have, like, some, like, so much nutritional value for your body, and then, yeah, it wouldn't be, like, any good anymore, basically. You'd have to switch up or add something with it to keep it good. So I thought that was a really cool mod. And I just thought I'd mention it. It's very interesting. Okay, what we could do is we could just half slab this. Wonder if that's still gonna work. Should work. Let's see why not. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It works. Like, I'll probably do this part off-camera. Um, but we need glass. We need some glass up in here. And, like, two doors. Need two doors. Definitely. Oh, the thing is, do I have glass? Or am I going to have to make some? Yeah, it would really suck. I have glass panes. Oh dear. Oh. Man, that, that really does suck. Screw it. Mix it up. Let's put some blue blue in there. That's why I said uh in one of the comments I replied to it in a little while back there. Yeah. My building style Minecraft is very, very random. There's no particular order or fashion to it. It's just it's one of the most random styles you'll ever see for you know somebody to build in Minecraft. Okay, so let's um quickly go up here. I will do all this um like I said guys off camera. I'm not going to bore you with that. Uh, I think I made a boo-boo there. Hey, boo-boo. Stop screwing up. There we go. Because I still need a way to load the uh, bone meal into these machines, right? I can't uh, forget about that. <laughs> that would be really bad of me if I forgot about that. And I think this will, you know, be like the solution. Still open them. And then I'll still be able to make my way up here through the staircase anytime. So I'm going to finish up this part, guys. Right here. 
finish half slapping this so no uh, googlies can spawn up here. We don't want the evil googlies up here. No, 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 no. Because, you know, I like playing with uh, mob griefing on, so when a creeper blows up, you know, he takes a big chunk out of the, the world. <laughs> I, l I think it's more realistic that way. You know, because if there was such a thing in real life, you know, that could, like, you know, if it felt threatened or it seen something it wanted to attack, and its only way of doing that was self-destruction, basically, right? And blowing up like a stick of TNT. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I definitely would, um... Yeah, be scared if I saw something like that. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It, it, the explosion, with the griefing on, it makes that... You know, that part a little realistic to me in that sense. But other than that, not really. Meh. That's all I can say to it. Boom. <laughs> Alright, guys. I shall be right back once I'm done doing this. Here we are, everyone. I got all that stuff done. Like I said, it's going to get done off camera. So let me show you what this building is like now. We got a... Uh, Stairway going to the top and the inside. We got double doors on the outside with steps. Pressure plates to shut them. I moved the uh, on and off switch for that machine. That's just above us here. Down. You know, I moved it forward a bit. I left this open, you know, so I can always uh, get back here if I need to do anything with this redstone or change it up or stuff like that, right? Uh, I might, like, put a door there or something, but I don't know. I'll figure that out. I got plenty of space over here. I moved the crafting table over here from there. Just so that there would be, you know, if I wanted to build some kind of a hopper storage system right all along here for the different kinds of dyes, I could. And let's go up the stairs. So you go up. And then, yeah, if you want to, you know, put more bone meal in the machines, come over to the back here, right? Then you just load them up. I thought it looks cool, you know, having like this kind of part stick out top and then... Yeah. The rest is all down there. This was a little tricky to figure out, but I got to figure it out. Put some stairs in here. Actually looks quite nice. I could probably put some like, uh... You know... Like this. There we go. And it still allows you to walk up and down the steps. So that's good. I just... I could put a pressure plate here, but I'd have to move either the steps here, starting at this block, or move this forward. One of the two, but oh well. It's not perfect, but it works. Now let's go check out the other one real quick. Now no, after that, guys, I'll take you on a little progress to her update you'll be probably surprised but not surprised some people will be I guess others won't but yeah I've done quite a bit of mining for sand now so this is the other building because like I said I had to move it move that one machine right because of the biome so I incorporated like I said we got these going on here Showed you guys how it worked there earlier in the episode. You know, this is kind of like a little revisit of it. And then, yeah. Bone meal. And I don't know if I'll have a storage over here. I might just have, like, um, you know, if anything, I'll just take all the flowers over to that one building. This one's just here because, like I said, the uh, biome requirement for those types of flowers to grow. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go visit the Ocean Monument Project now. And there used to be tons and tons of sand around that uh, first minecart stop, but... <laughs> yeah, it's gonzo now. Like, quite literally gonzo. There's barely any around. I still got a still waiting for uh, viewer comment suggestions for a building here. I don't know if I'll ever get any. If I don't, 
near the end of the season, well, definitely have to uh, build something there. But for the time being, I'm going to continue to be patient. Alright, so let's go through here. And yeah, on our way to the monument. I don't mind, I, I, you know, I'm really glad I put the effort in and built this uh, r rail system here in this tunnel because, yeah, the distance I travel is just retarded back and forth here, so this makes it a lot quicker, a lot easier. Some people might say, well, you know, you could have just traveled by boat or some other way, but meh, I like this method. It works for me. Alright. So yeah, there used to be tons of sand around here. There used to be. <laughs> oh, when I look, you know, I, I don't see very much at all now. And I've taken a lot of it over to the Ocean Monument Project already, but we got one, two, three. Oh. Oh yeah, because this area wasn't loaded in. We got a bunch in there still. So we're working on four. And then by the time five gets filled, I'll take those five double chests worth plus the hoppers worth of sand over there. But yeah, we'll take a little run out of here. Give you guys a better idea. Like, this was a sand biome, like a desert biome, I believe it's called. I don't know, someone can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but you know what I mean? It was one of those desert biomes where there's tons and tons of sand. Yeah. It's almost stripped right down to the sandstone. I didn't really bother getting that little bit because, you know, it's a bunch of dirt there and stuff. I didn't feel like trying to dig around at all. Oh, like a cave system. You know what I mean? It's not that much. So I was like, okay. But I got all down there, all the way across. And then I started on uh, over there. As you can see, there's like a, you know, you can see under the building now. So yeah, I, I've been quite busy, guys. Like, just because I haven't put out a Minecraft video as often lately. Doesn't mean I have not been busy, you know, working hard at this. Definitely been working hard for you guys. Now, we got over, done all over here too. Dug out, basically. And then I actually found, it took some time. Marked out which thing was the entrance to get into the uh, ocean monument. And I'll show you, now I can actually show you guys what I've been doing there. I don't know, it, it might or might not help people, you know, other Minecrafters who watch my Let's Play here, my Season 1, I guess. Like I said, I'm going to call it eventually. But, you know, whenever someone watches it and they want to tackle an ocean monument, monument on their own, they may find, you know, some, some of these videos helpful. You know, they're not tutorial videos or anything, but still can't find them helpful, right? Like... So I do mention a lot of helpful tips about, you know, taking over an ocean monument. Things you got to watch out for. Things like that, right? So, you know, eventually someone will find those that information helpful and I'll be, you know, be like, sweet, awesome. Here we are. Do -do -do. Lots of, uh... Lots of places to visit in this world. This is just like an animal island. Every time I come over here, there's always tons and tons of animals. Like jeepers. There's like a trophy for gathering different kinds of wool. Maybe I should just like take away all the, you know, the land. Just keep this building right. Make like a little pen area with a killing system and then yeah. Like, four spawn different sheep in to gather the wool to get that trophy. <laughs> that would be a funny method, I think. I think it would be. 
So yeah, I went burrowing through the walls there in the other episode off camera. I didn't feel like showing that like 10 minutes of trying to find it, but it's in one of these ones. Is it this one? Ah, it's this one right here. On guard, guardian. I see you. Hiya! <laughs> That's it, run. Run. There we go. So yeah, I've been working away. You know, when I do get it, like, that's why I've been, you know, gathering tons and tons of sun. So what I do is I uh, mine away all the prison marine blocks, right? And then I try and collect the half slabs before they fall into the water. But, you know, I'll just go to my cobblestone generator and make more... Uh, cobblestone and turn into stone and then into half slabs if I need more but you know this is where I got I last stopped because I ran out yeah sand or gravel it doesn't matter to me and then yeah I still got all the way across there to do but believe it or not I didn't have much sand left when I started doing this part and I ran out pretty quick but if I have tons and tons of sand I should be able to like you know get like I'm gonna say like maybe from here, all the way across, done in no time, if I just work at it. Might be a couple hours, but that's like one third of the area I need to, you know, fill in with sand blocks. So, yeah. Go me. <laughs> but like I said, I haven't given up. It's This is probably the biggest project I've tried to, you know, take on in Minecraft so far, I can honestly say. And I'll be so happy when it's all done, because it's... It's quite the endeavor. It sure is. I really like these uh these enchanted boots. They allow me to move so fast in the water. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to call it an episode. I got, you know, more of this to work on. I got mud runner videos to do too. I, I'm really enjoying that game. So you know. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Uh make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everyone.